Oh, I don't know if I can wait. I'm going to change that shot so you can see over the shoulder here. So just bear with me. Hey folks, thanks for coming to the big backyard again. Jay here with you from Big Bad Blind Guy Backyard Bushcraft. There's so many bees, I'm maybe going to shorten that, but uh, got here is my camp stove. And this is a camp classic, and probably an everywhere classic, right? We're going to have Frank and beans. This is going to be Canadian style. So right out of the can, we've got some interesting sweetener options here. We've got, let's see if I can get the label around. Mm. Maple sugar is going to go in this bad boy, okay? So why do we do that? Well, some people use molasses and all kinds of other stuff. But I think if you're doing a Canadian style, you're going to want some maple syrup. And uh, if, you, if you make up your own, you know, do your beans how you would. Add some maple syrup instead of brown sugar alongside with it and some bacon. And or pork fat works too. Good Canadian bacon. So for now, just adding the beans. I want to heat that up. That's awesome. Great. Get that going. So I had some leftover hot dogs from uh, the other day, and I like using them a lot at camp. They're pretty handy. Could use sausage too. We're going to chop that up. And we got about four here with one can of beans. That's probably plenty, and you can feed a couple of people if you have some buns going. I love doing uh, camp cooking videos. And, you know, you got to test this stuff in the backyard. And these are all beef, but, uh, you know, you can use vegetarian or whatever you want. So if you had some alternatives you want to pop in there, go for it. Basically molasses and beans, but instead we've got maple syrup as our sweetener. And something... Uh, my grandma used to make homemade, which I love, Was uh, and I don't typically like beans by themselves. Her baked beans, she'd use leftover ham after Thanksgiving, and Canadian Thanksgiving coming up for us. Um, take that. She'd also do pea soup as well, but uh, her frank and beans were amazing. Uh, what she would do for franks is actually use little breakfast sausages sometimes, if she did at all. I mean, just with the pork that was in there, it was more of a beans or a baked bean. But we do that at the cottage all the time. People would take one of those big uh, turkey roasting pans and do your beans in that and just bury them over in coals and let them cook. And uh, this, this makes me think about old fashioned sort of uh, stuff. Uh, when I was a kid, I get nostalgic when I think about Frank and beans. So remember, this is fireside five minute Frank and beans or five minute fireside Frank and beans. I put a pinch or two of garlic. It's already spices in the can already if you're cheating, which I probably would do for camping. Now, so we got our, our maple style. Uh, I'll tell you what, you don't need the can. You could open that up and fire that into a Ziploc if you want to compress things down and even pre-cook your hot dogs, which are already pre-cooked here, and, and chop them up and save a lot of space. This I'm going to save. I'm going to rinse it out. We're going to make a can stove later at some point. So a couple of pinches of garlic. There is a lot of salt, but, you know, I said that. I do like to add some salt. And we're going to add some chili flakes. Give it a bit of heat. Not too much. It's pretty tame stuff. Then I'm going to have to stir this up or it's going to burn. So we're going to get a wooden spoon and uh, get that going. You don't really need a lot of heat here. And this stove really does a lot of heat. So I don't need a lot of spice. It's going to depend what you want to carry around. A little salt and pepper never killed, I think. Um, brown sugar if you got it. And there you smell that cooking away. Um, whatever it takes for you to make your beans beautiful. The important part is you're going to have the hot dogs. So that's the frank part of the five minute frank and bean by the fireside. Then we've got our camp plates ready. I'll be eating that up in a few minutes. So I'll be right back. See how she looks in there. Oh yeah. Good thing this is no stick and it's fogged up my glasses. Often why I don't wear glasses. Oh yeah, it already smells beautiful. Now most of this is cooked. You're just heating it up. This is why it's like maybe less than five minutes. We really do want that nice and warm now. Make it feel good. I don't know if you folks can see that, but oh, I can smell the spice that I had just a little bit, right? And it mixes nicely with the smell of that maple syrup. Mm, so you got a little bit of zing, a little bit of tart, and a heck of a lot of sweet. And that's how we usually roll here up in this area of the woods. I'm actually gonna turn this down as low as it can go. How low? Can you go before I turn it off? So nice and slow. And this is where, just to warm it, it's okay to get a little fry in there, but just to warm it, this might be where we put that uh, whisper light on, simmer. 
lift off that lid again off. Beautiful. So remember, really, if you got a nice hot stove and you've got pre-made beans, some franks, they're usually mostly cooked, heat them up again, or if they were already boiled and just got leftovers, what a great way to use them up. Chop them up nice, get them in there. They sort of soak up the sauce. Now I think that's ready. So I'm gonna turn that off completely. I'm gonna come out here and clean that off later, but getting hungry, so we're gonna to need to eat that. So I wanna plate some up for my little guy and uh, get him to give it a try and we'll let you know how it tastes in a minute. And uh, certainly won't be gourmet fancy, but it'll be gourmet tasty. My little guy's coming out with a spoon right now. So we're gonna get some over here and hopefully you guys can see that coming out. It doesn't look like much, right? Unless you really like to look at beans. All right, I need to get some buns after, so we'll go do that. But get it out on the plate and uh, yeah, add yourself a bun, a nice, uh, whatever your camp beverage is, a hot coffee, an iced tea, whatever you're into. My guy likes a good root beer. And so we'll pop some on for me. And I know, I know who likes the bigger plate and it ain't me, but that's okay. Yep. Say realistically with four hot dogs, one can, two people. I've heard people say three or four, but I'll tell you what, I'm not getting much beans that way. And yeah, you do want to decide that with uh, some kind of buns or something else. Don't tell them before we get here. I want to taste some here. Let's see if I don't burn my finger, that's hot. Oh yeah. You bang. A little bit of chili, but I didn't put too much in there. Mmm. I'm going to move this out of the road. He was in such a hurry, he grabbed a spoon before I hit record. Now we got the five minute Frank and beans beside the fire, or five minute fireside Frank and beans. Canadian style. What makes it Canadian style, bud? Uh, I think it's maple syrup and almost everything. Now, we got the beans, got the wiener. Yeah, uh, Tell me the, fla the flavor. Describe. Mm-hmm. Spice. Mm -hmm. How's it feel in the mouth? Feels uh, sweet and also savory. Yeah, well that's how it tastes. That's great. We'll go inside and get our crusty bread. Uh, hey folks, thanks for coming along. And uh, you know what? We gotta go. We've got lunch. Yeah.